Wait a second. I have thought about this moment since the first day I came here. What I would think, what I would wear, and but most importantly, what I would say. I have to tell you, the graduation is not just about the school, but also about me as an individual. So I would like to share some of my stories and thoughts with you in this very special night. High school sucks. <laughs> that was my friend said. So did I. I didn't like old group. Actually, I didn't like it as a here. The first day I came here, I remember the first day. I came to school, I saw the school was a park. <laughs> <laughs> there, are, there are no tall buildings like what my old school had, and we even had to share the classroom with different classes. What is even worse, the diet. We had potato, or bread if I was lucky, for breakfast, for lunch, and for dinner. The strict dorm rules made me nervous even though I used to live in a dorm back in my junior high. We only have 12 kids at Besson House. For those of you who didn't know what Besson House is, um, it is just a house. <laughs> <laughs> With so few people, I didn't, like, I didn't have any privacy. For example, people could tell if you change your socks from a white pair to a black pair. So. This is my high school, I suppose, and I need to get used to here. I told myself, I always have two plans when I do things, always a plan B. Same for here, I did the same thing. I did great in my schoolwork, try to make friends here. At the same time, I look at different schools that I want to transfer to. <laughs> <laughs> so, if I like it here, I would stay. On the other hand, if I really do not want to stay here, I will, would go away. So, however, despite all the negative elements, I choose to stay. I found I did meet some interesting people here, and my grades are great compared with before. For, um, but the most important factor why I choose to stay here is my stubbornness. So back in my earlier school career, I was a terrible student in my teacher's perspective. Then said I was mentally retarded. That's true. I mean, so I change school all the time. In fact, Ogre is my third high school. My teacher in my old school are almost certain that I will be a loser. However, I never believe in them. I always believe that I will go to places and become someone who could be so rich <laughs> or give back to the society. <laughs> <laughs> so after I left my second high school, I told myself that I would not leave my third high school. Doesn't matter how hard it is, and I'm not a retard. So I know not everything here in Ogre is perfect, but I can feel that there is a certain spirit that I, I, I admire, which made me stay. Teachers here treat me as friends I could talk to, then care about my first personal life. I could talk to Miss Humbler, but I mean, he prefers call, I call him Will, so Will, about NASDAQ, Bitcoin, or I could talk to Paul about how to get a 2009 Honda Civic within 10 gram. <laughs> you may think that is normal for a teacher to do that, but, uh, but I am from a country where school is characterized, uh, characterized by hierarchy, so I can never look at my teachers like, in front of them, I mean, in, with my eyes, so I always like say, okay, teacher, okay, okay. <laughs> so, uh, so I really appreciate that. So. I do admire the spirit that teachers are not only responsible for teaching academic course, but also for teaching studying caring. So those students would pass this spirit to the next generation and the generation after. I'm honored to be a student from Oak Grove, where this spirit that I admire is always being protected. So at last, for people who didn't like me, you have my thanks. I won't be the person who is standing here without you. For those ever, whoever cared, Supporting me, love me. You have my thanks. I won't be standing here without your support and love. Thank you all.